Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the DLAC enclosure, which is the newest enclosure kit from 3D Sorcerer. We'll be launching this in a couple weeks. And this enclosure kit is designed to compete directly with the IKEA LAC enclosure, which is kind of the tried and true enclosure for most Prusa printers for the past five or six years. It's been a pretty good enclosure. We feel like this DLAC enclosure is a step up from that enclosure for a pretty similar price. So hopefully after watching the video, you'll agree that the DLAC has some advantages over the LAC enclosure. And maybe you'll think it also looks a little Bit better personally i'm a little biased but i think it looks a lot better anyway that's a whole nother topic but thank you for taking the time to watch and hope you enjoy for anyone new to the channel my name is joseph i'm a radiology resident in birmingham alabama and i'm also the owner of 3d sorcerer on this channel i like to talk about 3d printing 3d design and fusion 360 and occasionally new products like the dlac hopefully you enjoy this preview of our newest enclosure kit all right so here is the dlac enclosure i'm just going to give you all a quick overview of some of the features that we have built into this. Let's just start with the latches. You can see here that everything's nice and symmetrical. We have the hinges on this side, latches on this side, and you can obviously put them on whatever side you want, but these are magnetic. There's a magnet there, and then a magnet behind the glass on this side. You can see it there, and it just snaps into place real securely. No glue is required, and there's Obviously one there as well. Nice little handle, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing in my personal opinion. And then we have the DLAC, which I think is a pretty cool feature. You can customize this however you want, put whatever name you want to on the front. I know a lot of people name their printers, or a lot of people have multiple printers, and it's a good way to keep track of it. This is just an insert, so it's a separate piece that you can take out and exchange whenever you need to. And then here on the corner, this is our little corner guard, I like to call it. And the idea behind this is, you know, a lot of you might have kids or people walking around. We don't want anyone to get injured on the corner of the enclosure. So made these little guards there and just slide on. And on the inside, you can see there's a slot for each side. And there's also one for the top there. And on this particular piece, I don't have a bolt on the top, but on this side, I do just to demonstrate. You can see there, I have a bolt on the top and it still just slots into place. And then we also have these side supports as well. We actually do have a piece that spans all the way across uh, that you can print on the Prusa Mini. All this can be printed on the Prusa Mini, which is important for all of you that have that printer. So uh, we'll be showcasing that in an upcoming video. And then coming around to the back here, we have this piece that fits with the power cable. You can see there it runs right in the middle, which is you know, nice and symmetric. We'll also release some additional versions of this for different power cables and different sets of cables. And then here is something that we'll be announcing soon, but if you can use your imagination, it's a circular thing that's 120 millimeters. It spins pretty fast, so you'll probably be able to guess what that might be. But that's the little cover if you don't have one of these accessories, but uh, we'll be talking about that in an upcoming video. And then here again is another place for an accessory. You can see there's a cutout. And what this will be is a spot for something that three letters and it starts with an L and ends with ED, so LED. And we'll be showcasing that soon as well. So stay tuned for that. And then here on the top, you can also see in the back similar little black dots. And what those are are filament access points. You can see there in the middle, uh, there's filament running through there, which is probably what most people will use because it seems to you know, work well, especially with the Mark III and Mark IV. But these are legitimate plugs, which are silicone. And see here, they fit pretty tight. There's the plug. But instead of having you 3D print it or whatever, we, we're just gonna include those. Got those injection molded. And they are pretty tight, but uh, they're kind of meant to be that way. So they don't fall out or anything, but go in like that. And as I mentioned, there's some in the back. Uh, we should be able to make this compatible with the MMU-3. I know that the MMU-2 wasn't super popular, so I think this is a setup that most people have, but we will try to make it compatible. We'll just need to work on that whenever it comes available. And then another feature that we have that hopefully you all will appreciate is we're gonna include this in the kit as well. And what this is is a USB-C to USB-B thumb drive, so you don't have to use adapter or anything when you're exporting boarding your prints, which is just something that I get kind of annoyed with having to have adapter on my laptop all the time. So I thought that y'all might like that. So we're going to include that in the kit as well. And then another thing to mention, I can't really see it very well, but down in that 
pole is another rubber silicone piece that acts as feet on each of the four corners. There's one over there too. And that's just to prevent the enclosure from scratching your table or whatever. That is the early preview of the DLAC enclosure. Hope that you all are interested in it. And we'll be doing a price comparison of this versus the Bruce enclosure and the IKEA LAC enclosure, which we actually sell kits for, but hope that this one might be something you're interested in. And if you are, check out our website. We have a email signup list for notifications and we'll be giving away a pretty substantial discount for those of you that sign up within the first 100 signups. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in it. And can't wait to show you all some of these accessories we have planned. And if you're interested in this filament holder, it's self-centering. I just released a video on that recently and the files are already available. So we'll have that down in the description as well. Thank y'all for watching. Can't wait to give y'all some more updates on this and uh, see you in the next one. And for all of you that watched to the end, here's a sneak peek of the accessories we have coming up. Thanks for watching.